Hey what's up everyone welcome back to the channel my name is Divit and in today's video I'll be giving you a complete step-by-step -step guide on how you can use Canva to create amazing and stunning looking landing pages. I'll cover all of the different steps that you need to actually publish this landing page so that people can interact with it, how you can make sure your landing page is responsive and how you can use templates to make sure this is a very seamless and easy process. So with that said let's get right into it. Now the first thing we need to do to get started is log into our Canva dashboard. Once you're in your dashboard, go ahead and press this create a design button right here. And then over here in this pop-up, just go ahead and type in landing page and select landing page website. So once you do that, you'll be directed to this page over here, which is Canva's main builder. And over here, you can go ahead and put in any text, images, background colors, and make a bunch of different changes right here. We can see we have options for templates, layouts, and styles. Now layouts is basically if you want to create your landing page from scratch or customize it to your particular needs. Templates is basically if you want to use ready-made templates that Canva already provides you. And styles is basically how you want to style your landing page. So for the sake of simplicity right now, I'll show you how to use the templates option and how we can customize these templates to further then go ahead and build our landing page. So let's say for example, I'm interested in building a portfolio landing page that showcases my work. I can just go ahead and type in portfolio right here. And then we can see all of these different templates available. Now you'll notice that some of these templates have this crown icon, which basically means that this is a pro template, which basically means that you have to be paying for Canva Pro to use this particular template. Now keep in mind for this tutorial, I'll only be using free templates so that we can just create this for free. And to do that, you can just go ahead and scroll through the templates that don't have this crown icon. And these are basically all of the free templates available to you. So you can go ahead and browse all of these templates, right? They're very nice templates and then choose a select one. So I'm just going to go ahead and choose this one right here. We can see that currently this particular template has eight sections to it. And if I go ahead and press this apply all eight pages, we're basically building the landing page using these eight sections. So this is section number one. This is section number two, three, so on and so forth. This is basically what our landing page will look like. All right. So if we want to go ahead and actually preview this, you can press the preview button on the top right. And this is basically what it's going to look like on your desktop. You can press this option right here to see it in full screen. And then you can scroll through the different sections we just talked about. So we can see it's a very clean portfolio, a lot of white space, very minimalistic. Similarly, you can apply the exact same thing and see what it looks like on mobile devices by clicking this option on the top right. And again, this is what it looks like on your mobile devices. Once again, the templates are very responsive and that's why I recommend using them. Canva has done a lot of the heavy lifting for us. All right. So. Once you're happy with what this looks like on your mobile device and your desktop, now you can go ahead and further start, you know, customizing it. Now, when it comes to customizing things on Canva, I'm sure a lot of you know how this works. It's a very straightforward process. Let's say, for example, I want to change this text. I can just go ahead and click it. Just go ahead and put in my particular name. I can go ahead and change the background color to, let's say, blue, and then make a bunch of different changes like that, right? So you can go ahead and do all of this different stuff. You can add custom images. You can upload them using this upload tool and then putting them in here. It's a very, very straightforward process. Now, let's say, for example, if you don't like a particular section or you don't want it in your landing page, you can just simply go ahead and delete it. So if I don't like the skills and expertise section, I can just go ahead and choose it and then press the delete option. Similarly, over here, if you want to go ahead and add certain pages, you can just go ahead and press the design option once again. And you can go ahead and go back right here and go to layouts, take out this portfolio and add a layout right here. OK, so I can just go ahead and add a page right here. I can duplicate a page if you want. Anything that you want to do, for example, right here, if I want to add this, at this section right here and then further customize it I can all right so that's basically how you can make a bunch of different changes here again I'm sure you guys all know how to use Canva the point of this tutorial is to show you how you can build this landing page and actually publish it so once you go ahead and actually you know customize this landing page once you make all of the different changes to it once you play around with the text the images and really have your different style to it you can go ahead and actually publish the website by pressing this publish website option on the top right you can go ahead and put a website URL name so this is basically Canva asking you, what do you want your landing page to be called? Now, if you want to do this for free completely, you can use a Canva domain name. So basically you can go ahead and put in your website. So I can just say Divimeta, which is my name. But then if I want to do it for free, it's going to be divimeta.my.canva.site. All right. So you're going to have Canva branding on your URL and that's how you can do it for free. If you don't like this, if you want to go ahead and use a custom domain, you can go ahead and choose this use a custom domain option. If you already have a domain that you have, you can go ahead and actually connect it. And you can do, do that right here very simply. You can buy a new domain or again, you can claim a free Canva domain, which is what we're currently doing by just going ahead and putting in my particular name, right? And then once you have that in there, I can just claim this free domain and use it, All right? So I'm just going to go ahead and use that right now. 
we can see right here that this is my particular domain. I can go ahead and tweak it however I want. I can say, for example, this is the home page. Anything I want to do, I can go ahead and change right here. Now, when it comes to your public settings over here, you can go ahead and give your particular landing page a description. So I can just say, this is my portfolio. I would recommend that if you have an actual landing page to put in your keywords right here so that Google knows exactly what this landing page is about. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just keeping it very simple and just keeping it, this is my portfolio. But again, for the best search engine optimization settings, you want to make sure that your particular keyword is in the description. Similarly, over here, I can go ahead and change in my page name. So here I can just go ahead and say Divid Meta Portfolio. So this is basically what will show up in the tabs on Google. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and press that in there, press the preview option, and we can see this is what it looks like. All right, so that's how you can go ahead and change the publish settings. And then you can go ahead and publish this particular website. And we can see right here, now Canva is actually doing that right now for me. And once this entire process is completed, they will provide me with a link, which is right here. I can copy this link and then go onto a new page right here, just paste it in. And now we can see my landing page, which I created a second ago, is available to me right here. Now, the cool thing about this, guys, is you can go ahead and further customize any changes you want to make on Canva and it will reflect right here. So if I go back to Canva over here, press the X option. Let's say, for example, I want to go ahead and actually make changes. I can press the edit option, go over here. And let's say that, you know, I'm not happy with this. I can go ahead and actually make it black. And actually, you know what, let's make it blue so that it's visible. And now I can go ahead and press the publish website again, republish website, go through the exact same process. And now you're going to see that once it's republished, this blue background that I've added in, if I press the view website option is now available. So it's really that simple. That's how you can go ahead and make a bunch of different tweaks, have websites available to you using Canva, using their domain name, and then go ahead and send it to people very easily. So on that note, everybody, that's pretty much it for this video. That's how you can go ahead and create any landing page you want using Canva. I hope you found this educational. If you did, then go ahead and press the like button and share it with your friends. And if you're interested in more content like this, then consider subscribing to my channel. I create all kinds of tutorials on digital marketing, on Canva, on anything that you'd like when it comes to digital tools. On that note, everybody, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.